a house in Sugarland, Texas. Uh, fairly nice neighborhood, uh, very high end. Um, so it has an ARV somewhere around 300 to 350. And uh, we got it at a very good uh, price after a short sale negotiation. So what we decided to do was do a complete rehab. So what we're showing here is the results of all of our efforts. So um, if you want to go back to a video that we had done before, it'll give you an idea of what we started with. And now I'm going to show you what we're ending up with. And in fact, this house is sold. It was sold after two weeks on the market and we actually got a higher price than we expected. So we're very pleased all around. So it's a hot, hot day here in Texas. So let's go on inside. What I want to emphasize here is that we uh, had extensive overgrowth of the uh, landscaping, which we tore out and we did uh, another job on the rehab or the landscaping. And I think it turned out very nice. It really popped up the curb appeal. So that was fun. Come on in. Took the front door and restained it. Very nice uh, entry. Come on in. Woo, so much cooler in here. All right. So again, I encourage you to go back to our initial video to see what we started with, but let me give you an idea of what we've done. Over here on your right, we have a formal dining room. Um, what we've decided to do is put uh, engineered hardwood uh, flooring throughout the entire first floor. So this is the uh, dining room. And over on this side, is the um, is the formal living room two-story we were thinking about doing some treatment on the fireplace but decided not to do it I really like the idea of the hardwood floors being kind of dark and it really creates some contrast with the walls and and, and upscales the entire um, um, contemporary look of the house okay uh, before I go on I want to uh, also uh, give a, a, a high five to Homebase Repairs, who is in a partnership with us in doing this. So this is all their efforts. So please go to homebaserepairs.com if you want to see uh, about arranging some work from this contractor. Manuel Zamora did a terrific job. Okay, so, okay. So, you may recall in the first video, we had tile throughout this entry floor. In fact, we had two layers of tile. We were going to chip it up, which we did, but rather than put tile back, we decided just to continue with this hardwood uh, flooring throughout. And I think it worked very well. Uh, I think I commented on our steps over here. We uh, had uh, carpeted steps, and what we decided to do was uh, put a hardwood on top, paint it dark, and put the risers as white. And that uh, actually really looks good. And then the uh, spindles here we painted white. Um, I really like the way this one turned out. Okay, and behind you, I'm going to show you what we did to our kitchen. Very beautiful kitchen here. So, let me try to recall what we had. We had a set of cabinets up along here, which we pulled out. That created some open space between here and the, uh, the breakfast rooms where you're standing right now. Granite counters throughout. We put some uh, lighting under here to uh, uh, highlight the counters. New sink, uh, new fixtures throughout. We decided to uh, keep the original uh, cabinets, but actually replace the uh, cabinet fronts, and that turned out very nice. This was an interesting decision that we made. We couldn't quite decide where and if we should have a, uh, a central island in this kitchen. Um, so we decided to give that uh, option to the, the, uh, the home buyer. So what we did is we put this island on wheels. And I think that's really been a big plus because that gives the uh, next, home or some next homeowner some options on what to do, how they want to arrange their kitchen. Um, again, we have new appliances throughout, stainless steel. Uh, we also obviously chose to uh, put this hardwood flooring even into the kitchen, even into the wet space. This is a high-end uh, wood flooring, and so we're very confident that it's going to uh, withstand any uh, threats of water. You may recall on this uh, area, we had originally the uh, refrigerator was on this side, and the cabinetry was on this side. We decided we wanted to bring the refrigerator more into the circle of the, uh, 
kitchen. So we reversed the two. So the refrigerator is going to go here, and we built that new cabinets in a microwave space over here um, that's uh, custom built. Um, very nice wide drawers, which is great for uh, pots and pans and, and the like. So excellent storage. Um, another feature we decided to do, since we had a water supply from the old refrigerator, we decided to make a um, kind of a coffee station uh, water supply. So that uh, was another nice feature that someone could build a um, set up their coffee making here and uh, kind of give it an up upscale touch to it. Okay. And again, here's the dining room. We put a new chandelier, cleaned up the windows, placed the floor, and obviously paint throughout. Okay. So I'm going to take you to the um, informal living room, I guess we can call this. Um, first, I want to show you that we made some improvements here on the um, um, half bath. We kind of made it more contemporary by putting a granite countertop and a, a unique little sink. If you want to go down and take a look, uh, there it is. Different, but uh, I think it really adds a nice uh, touch. Um, in here, we call this the informal living room. It has its own uh, fireplace. So we changed out the fixtures, put the hardwood floor in here. Um, I did describe in the last video that there was a wet bar right here that prevented the uh, traffic flow coming from this room into the kitchen, and we decided to remove that entirely. And I'm, I'm really pleased with the way the kitchen now coordinates with this room. So this will be a nice little uh, sitting area, uh, TV, etc., for the family. Plus, there's a terrific view of the uh, large backyard here, and I think uh, that was a big selling point as well. <clears throat> okay, let me bring you into the master bath, or master bedroom. Okay, come on in. Last time we saw this room, it was in shambles. The uh, ceiling was open because we had some water damage up there, so we repaired the ceiling. We repainted and we kept the hardwood theme coming throughout this room. Put in a new ceiling fan and new fixtures. This turned out really nice. It's a very spacious and uh, inviting room. Also, this entrance or uh, sliding glass door out to the backyard is a nice feature for the parents of this house. This is something that's very interesting. I don't know if you recall the way this was, but uh, I'll try to walk it through. I think this turned out really well. This is the master bath, now complete. Um, initially, there was a countertop here, two sinks, and this linen closet was over to the right. So we decided to bring that linen closet to the center, create two separate islands, a his and hers sink, Again, granite, nicer fixtures, and uh, kind of a unique idea for the lighting in this, uh, this space. Um, and we also made this so that this is very functional for both sides. So let's show you what we did over here. Let's see, initially there was a sunken jacuzzi that was below this floor level. And so um, there was a toilet over here a doorway to the toilet, and then an entrance to a shower in this back corner. And then a uh, pony wall of sorts with a window in front of it. So what we decided to do was create a uh, dedicated um, water closet for the uh, toilet here. Nice and private. Okay. We added this wall on the left. And we created an open concept of the master bath. and. Uh, this really turned out nice. This has kind of an overhead sort of uh, um, rain shower concept on the, uh, the fixtures. Um, one could uh, leave this open or think about putting a shower curtain if they felt so, so inclined. Uh, we put in some stone, um, kind of river stone sort of uh, flooring, and that goes really well with our ceramic tile in here. We raised this floor entirely like six or seven inches, so that it's all in one plane with the, uh, the, 
the uh, bathroom floor and put in a, a contemporary freestanding tub. I really like the way this all turned out. Okay. All right, so again, this was a big plus. Uh, this turned out very nice. Like to go upstairs? I call this the game room. This could be an office space. But what we did is we tore out the carpet that was up here. We painted the, uh, the bookshelves, cleaned up the windows, put in new fixtures, and put in brand new carpeting here. And this has really created a nice, uh, comfortable space. Over here, we have a new bedroom. Again, the changes in here, new carpeting, paint, and fixtures. And uh, cleaned up the windows, and this turned out very nice. Back here, we have a dedicated uh, bath. We went with granite countertops, resurfaced the uh, existing cabinets, new fixtures, and new lighting. And we also retiled the floor. But what we decided not to do, because we kind of liked the way this was, was just that we kept it the old um, tile that was in here in the bathtub. And that actually goes really well. I think that looks just fine the way it is. Okay. And then there's a mirrored door here, which exits back to the uh, den. This was a dark wood. We decided to paint this white. We had a uh, brand new kind of modern uh, fan installed. And back here, we uh, created, uh, we just cleaned up the, the bedrooms. Again, new paint, new flooring, cleaned up the windows, and put a, uh, a new uh, light there, new um, fan. Here is a uh, Jack and Jill concept. Again, we put new tile down here, new granite, refaced or repainted the um, existing cabinetry. There was a fur down above here, way up here. There was a fur down. We pulled that out and put new lighting up above. This turned out really nice. This bedroom shares a bathroom with uh, the next one I'll show you. But again, in here, we did new tile throughout, a new bathtub, new fixtures, but pretty much other than the floor and the toilet, everything else was uh